Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports dropped the hero pack that we were so eagerly awaiting yesterday in FIFA 23, and it's actually making the market go crazy high. Player prices are going up almost everywhere on the game as the value of this SBC was a lot cheaper than we expected it to be. That is causing SBC fodder to go up and of course players on the market are going up a lot too. Hero cards, out of pack specials, even the rule breakers in packs have exploded in price because so many people have made a ton of coins in this game in the last day. I want to take a look at that and, of course, talk about what to watch out for today on Tuesday with the potential for some supply to come hit the market again with the UEFA Marquee Matchups SBC. And will fodder go up again with the 80-plus Team of the Week SBC potentially returning today with Team of the Week Neymar being a card you could potentially pull from that pack that has dropped today. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this Foot Hero pack because I think I was surprised yesterday and I think a lot of us were surprised as well that the price of this SBC was like half of what we were expecting it to be. Now, the number one thing we learned from seeing EA price a Hero SBC at this value right now is they're valuing icons as more elite than heroes again in this year's game. And that's what I learned the bottom line yesterday of the price of this SBC. I think that's why EA put the price out on this is what they did because they still see icons as the more elite tier type of card in this game. Although for a lot of us, heroes work better in our squads and provide better chemistry links than icons do in this new chemistry system. So that six, or what is it? Yes, yeah, 76,000 coins, 81% upvote. So many people went out and did this SBC. I think personally, I've never done a gamble pack SBC Faster. When I loaded into 6 p.m. content yesterday on stream and I saw that it was only one squad, I was like, okay, what's this going to be? An 85 rated squad and a team of the week player, it was so easy to get done. And just realistically think about it, right? Even though you might look at this and say, Nate, it's still not that great of a value because there's so many heroes that are less than 75,000 coins. This is about as good as it's ever going to get for a gamble pack SBC. That's, let's face it, this is a truly a gamble pack where you're hoping to pack somebody that's worth more than what the SBC is worth or get somebody fun. These are the most popular SBCs on FIFA, and the fact that it's only 75k to go and try to gamble and get a cool foot hero card for your team on tradable, that's why so many people are doing this SBC. So, of course, with the price being cheaper than expected, of, of course, there's a lot of demand, right? So you've got all of your fodder cards going up in price right now. 85s are 11,000 coins. They're actually down a tiny bit from where they were at their peak yesterday. 86 is 16, 17K. 84s went from 2,000 coins on the weekend. I know some of you guys are buying 84s and stocking them up. They are going even higher right now at 3,000 coins almost per card. 87s, 21K a card. Even your 88s and your 89s have gone up in price because I just think there's so much demand for this SBC. And I think people are making a lot of coins from everybody that invested in SBC fodder. This is what's really making the market explode is think about everybody who invested in fodder. I know a lot of you guys watching this video bought fodder cards and you sold and you made a ton of coins. But what I think is so many other people did that across the market and maybe you're, you're involved in this as well. And what they did was they went out and they tried out some new promo cards or they went out and they bought players for their team or they had coins so they wanted to do something fun, right? And they went out and they bought some rule breakers or some out of packs cards like Road to the Knockouts or Informs as investments or ones to watch cards or they just went out and bought heroes to try out. Tiago and some of these rule breakers from Team 2 absolutely exploded on the market yesterday. And this is something that I wasn't expecting. I'm pretty sure that most of us were not expecting this to happen. A crazy buyback on these cards just because the amount of coins that people made and they went out and they bought cards, right? Sissoko went from 150K, he was even up at 190,000 coins at one point. Like, look at that crazy rise. That's kind of the opposite of what we expected to happen, right? We expected the Hero SBC to be like 150,000 coins around there. And I think that would have taken a lot more coins off the market because people would have had to sell more cards to get this SBC done. But 76K, especially with a player pick SBC being out, that is the first player picks of FIFA 23 for an upgrade pack. So many people are, are just going and doing player picks to get 84s and 85s, which are pretty readily available from a 75 plus player pick, even though it's only one of two choices. And they're doing this SBC for even cheaper 
because of that. So yesterday, like, was honestly the best situation ever. People made profit on SBC fodder. And then if you bought any cars, like, right either before when the SBC was released or afterwards, I bought Heroes after the SBC was released and they just absolutely exploded, right? This is how, like, almost everything meta on the market looks like right now. It just was low and then it just exploded. But specifically on these Hero cards, they just went up big. And this is one thing that I knew was going to happen and where I put a lot of my coins yesterday. I bought three cools at 245,000 coins. You might've been like, Nate, you could have bought them at 230. What were you doing? Well, I was under the impression that the hero pack was still going to be kind of expensive and that people were still going to want to do it. So I thought there was going to be some panic after the 6 p.m. content drop yesterday. That was not the case. There was enough panic in the morning to hit low prices a couple hours before content. Then right when the content dropped, we saw how cheap the SBC was. I went straight back to the market and bought cards right after that because I knew, man, this SBC is so cheap that it's going to make prices go up everywhere after people sell their fodder because there's a lot of demand. So fodder is still going to go up, but it's such a good value SBC that people are going to go back out to the market and have coins left over and be making coins from today to go out and buy cards. So I bought Marquinhos at like 270. I bought Cool again at 240. He's he's still going a little bit higher. I bought Fakir at like 280 flat. And then I bought three Gabriel Jesus at uh, like 275. I bought a Holland at 170. There was some panic selling on some gold cards for sure. I'm not saying that everything on the market went up yesterday because there were still cards that are down. Like gold Benzema, I think, went down um, and actually is now one of the cheapest 91 rated cards in the game. Benzmo is like 59K, went down to the low 50s and is now back up to about 56. But on a lot of your other meta cards, you just saw spike. Look at Mbappe, right? Mbappe is almost back to 1.5 mil. He was 1.4 mil yesterday. And again, it's just so obvious to see that yesterday, so many people made coins off of SBC fodder going up that they went out and they bought cards off of the market. So that's kind of the story of why the market is booming on all these different levels. That's why hero cards are going to new high prices that they've ever been. That's why road to the knockouts are going higher than they have ever been, right? Foden's almost back to 400K. Messi's about to be 1.5. Um, Lukas Paqueta is about to be 190,000 coins. These guys, of course, with upgrades on the line today on Tuesday with Champions League games, specifically for Aubameyang, that's a card you really have to watch out for today on that their result potential upgrade happening at the end of this week right we are in upgrade week time for all the rest of the road to the knockouts this friday based on who wins we'll talk about that again here in a little bit but it was just crazy right i'm still it almost makes me smile how much the market went up yesterday and it was a great opportunity to, to make some coins on the meta market and also on the fodder market so ggs if you did make coins yesterday for sure now Let's roll into what could happen today on Tuesday because there's a lot to talk about with this as well. Tuesday is about to be a pretty interesting day on FIFA because last two two weeks ago, not last week, two weeks ago, we had UEFA marquee matchups for the first time. And I'm sure you guys remember that kind of that was the week that we had a bit of a market crash during the road to the knockouts promo. We saw a lot of card prices actually drop around that time frame. And if you take a look here on the graph, it was around literally this day two weeks ago where we had this crash, right? Where Militao went from 130,000 coins during that week down to 104K. And he's kind of been stagnant around there ever since. And I'll back up a little bit now after yesterday's craziness. But it was this day two weeks ago where we saw a ton of drop off on the market. Again, you see it again right here, right? Now, it all comes down to when they drop UEFA marquee matchups today, it all comes down to what packs they put in the SBC, like what kind of packs it is giving out. If they're putting packs in here like they've been doing uh, for regular marquee matchups, which is definitely not a way you can try to compare for UEFA and to regular marquee matchups, but you know, if they do these rare electro players packs, if they do, you know, like uh, premium mixed players, that's not that good, right? But if the packs today are really, really insane, like we saw a couple of weeks ago from UEFA marquee matchups, the first time it was released, you're going to see even more supply hit the market today. And what that would do is probably drop some of the prices of these rule breaker cards that we just saw go up so much, right? Yesterday, Tiago was 370,000 coins. Uh, Sissoko was 150. As we looked at Franck Ribéry, the most expensive card in this Team 2 promo, 
was like 800,000 coins flat. And now he's approaching 900K. He's 890 right now on the market. So I think that what you're going to see today is a bit more supply for a lot of these rule breaker cards. Again, the just the quantity of the price drops that you will see today because of that supply will really depend on how good the packs are, though. That's the one thing we have to keep in common or keep in, uh, in thought is we have to see how good the packs are because that will kind of discern how big of a drop off we have on the market today. But I'd be careful with your gold cards. I'd be careful with your team of the week cards. I'd be careful with even some of the rule breaker cards, right? I mean, this is one of the reasons I was not a huge fan of investing in team of the week. As you can see, Barella, how much is he right now? Barella is 79,000 coins. I think that these guys are gonna get packed more today. And uh, I think it's going to make their prices drop. Neymar, I believe, is up a bunch. He's up like 100K. He's 1-2 highs. He was 1-2-9 earlier. Right now, it looks like he's 1-2-7. But he was 1.18 yesterday before the Hero Pack dropped and then exploded with the market just rising up in general. But today, with UEFA marquee matchups, I would say be very careful on this market. I would say that you could probably look for panic selling since the hero cards went up so much yesterday and there's still a lot of demand for those and a lot of hype around them right now. If you see panic selling on hero cards, icons, or some other out of pack special cards, you know, I think you could definitely make a good play for flipping those cards today. Uh, again, ones to watches are of course really going to be hype for tomorrow on, um, on Wednesday with their, their upgrades. But a good example of just flipping rare cards, I bought Gabriel Jesus yesterday. He went down, right, from 290K down to 276. I bought three of them at 275 and below. Just finished throwing them all just at 300,000 coins. So a good flip like right there. That's a card that was out of packs that dropped with content yesterday. That's what I'd be watching out for today. And again, if the packs are okay, but you still see some pretty big drops on gold meta cards, maybe like Kevin De Bruyne's gold card goes from 143,000 coins down to 130K, you know, or something like kind of what he did yesterday. If the packs aren't that insane, you would expect to see his card rebound back up a little bit. So watch the market in that area today for that. But going back to the team of the week aspect of things, you guys remember last week on Tuesday, we had the team of the week upgrade SBC released 10 times repeatable, and it was an 83 rated squad with an 85 rated player requirement inside of it. So it's going to be a really interesting, you know, market movement to watch today because if we have UEFA marquee matchups on one hand bringing supply to the market in your SBC fodder cards but on the other hand you have a 80 plus team of the week upgrade pack that allows you to pack Neymar right the new pack's been added to the code instead of team of the weeks one through four it'll be team of the weeks one through five we're expecting that SBC today or tomorrow and it's not 100 percent that it'll be dropping today but I do believe that it could be today and again there's more demand for fodder there so what's going to happen to SBC fodder prices today well I will say this 85 is right away. They're back down at about 10,500 coins. And again, you can see the spike yesterday, right? They rose all morning, spiked up to 11, 12K. I think they're going to rise up again today as people who didn't do the hero pack yesterday are going to go out and get it done. And I think that you will see hero card prices or sorry, fodder card prices going up even more today in the morning. I think that today might be a good day to sell some of your 85 before content if you don't want to risk it with the UEFA marquee matchups. But also, 85s might get stupid expensive today if they keep that 85 rated player section in the 80 plus team of the week. Also, if you have 84s, you're up, what, about a thousand coins a card? I wouldn't be super scared to maybe hold on to your 84s if you haven't sold them yet, sold them yet. Some of these guys, instead of maybe they do an 85 requirement, maybe they make you have like three 84s in the SBC or four 84s. Like that would be a, a new sort of thing. But I just think that still this, the discrepancy between 85s and 84s, 10.5K versus 2.8K, that's a huge gap. So I feel like 84s have a lot more potential to rise than 85s do at the moment just because once you get to 85, 86, 87, those guys are all in between you know, a 10K window, whereas you have 7,000 coins separating 84s and 85s right now on this market. So 84s might be a little bit of a hold. Again, the only gamble with it is if you want to chance the supply being less than a demand today for an 80 plus team league upgrade, that's kind of your gamble of, of the market, I guess you'd watch for today. So if you do want to sell fodder into the safe time frame, though, like I said, I do think that your 85s, 86s, basically all fodder today is going to rise into content and that could create create a really good selling opportunity for those of you guys that still have fodder in the club. I think I still have a few fodder cards in the club, nothing crazy, 
but maybe a couple 85s that I would just sell and take the cash on if you want to take the safe cash before we have some supply today. Now, also today on Tuesday, we have an SBC player that is leaked um, and it was leaked yesterday. And these are the confirmed stats, which the fact that we have confirmed stats for this card right now makes me believe this SBC could be today as well, but it also could be Thursday. I'm kind of leaning towards today though. We'll just have to see, but a pacey left wing back or left back in the Bundesliga, Rom. Uh, these are the official stats according to Foot Sheriff and Arcade Foot who leaked this. Uh, should be pretty cheap, right? But a nice pacey Bundesliga left back. Of course, you'd want to be a little bit careful of somebody like Alfonso Davies. And then on the other side of the coin, you would want to think about somebody like Nkunku or maybe Timo Werner's Inform or any of these Leipzig cards in the game that would be very hyped that people maybe want to go out and buy today. Yeah, again, look, Nkunku was 57K. Panic sold, boom, and now back up to 62, 63. Right, it, it makes sense for Nkuku to be dropping on the market yesterday because let's say somebody had Nkuku in their team, but they wanted to go and do the Hero Pack SBC. All you have to do is sell your Nkuku for 60k, use one or two cards in the club, and boom, you got that SBC done for a very very small cost. And so that's why you had some of these gold cards dropping on the market yesterday. We had a, uh, I believe it was untradeable. Yeah, untradeable rule bender SBC. So it was not a tradable pack supply SBC yesterday. And we didn't get that much supply on the market in general, uh, like we were thought we were going to get because there was only one segment in the SBC and not two or three like we thought there might have been. So again, it, it's just an absolutely crazy day with how the market was yesterday. And I think a lot of people are feeling good about the market at the moment because uh, you had just so many avenues to profit yesterday, right? Selling the hero cards, buying them when they were low, selling them as they go up. They're probably gonna go up even a little bit more this morning. One thing I would say to be a little bit careful is watch out for the leaks today as well. I do believe that we might start having some leaks for either team of the week cards coming out tomorrow and Wednesday, uh, maybe even for the next promo. There might be some leaks regarding that sort of stuff today. So just be careful again with cards on the market, especially if it's a card that's in packs. I'm closely watching Erling Holland's gold card because he was panic sold yesterday. He went down to 170K. I snagged one there, sold it at 186, which is what he's back up to now. But Holland is being considered for team of the week. And there's a lot of big names that could be in team of the week. So with the supply today as well, keep an eye on those gold cards like Usman Dembele, who might have a team of the week item tomorrow on Wednesday. These cards could be good buys if they drop low enough. Usman was 57K yesterday. Now he's back up to 62. So if they drop again today with supply, those could be a good quick flip investment for a lot of you guys trying to make coins on the market. But again, an absolutely wild day. Of course, I'll mention who I got in my hero pack right away. I got Cordoba. I think it was the fastest I've ever done a gamble pack. I literally logged in, saw the content drop, did the SBC, packed Cordoba and then and raced back to the market to try to go and buy some cards. It was a crazy day yesterday. Hopefully today is just as hype. Oh, really quick at the end of this video, I didn't talk about road to the knockouts. I need to talk about RTTKs. Aubameyang, some of these other guys that have won their first game, right? It's all about the wins upgrade for today's games. And I'm going to actually show you EA's website to talk about these cards really fast at the end of this video. Um, Aubameyang, what you're looking for is a win. These guys that won their first of the three possible games that they are could win, um, you know, they have to win two games to get the upgrade, right? So they have three games, they have to win two. Uh, today, Chelsea play against Red Bull Salzburg, or no, sorry, yes, Red Bull Salzburg. I get that mixed up with Leipzig all the time. Anyways, they play Salzburg. If Chelsea win, Aubameyang will be a 90 rated card on Friday. Just like they upgraded Odegaard last Friday, the rest of these cards that are in the promo, if they hit their second win, which there's not that many players, look at all these UCL guys like Valverde, Foden, who we thought were going to win last two weeks ago, and they didn't. No upgrades for them, even though Phil Foden and City have clinched a um, spot in the knockout rounds, the knockout upgrades don't come until November 4th. So we're watching for these cards here to be... Uh, the win upgrades like Kulusevski, Konate, Zambo, and Guisa, guys like Terrier, Odegaard already got his upgrade, Juan Bisaka, um, Ikone, Lukas Paqueta, Gerard Moreno, all of these guys by Friday if their team wins. It's all about the wins again, let me mind you. We will see upgrades for these guys. So especially for Konate this week, especially for Aubameyang, Thomas Muller, these guys that are on one win already, 
those are going to be the road to the knockout cards that you really want to keep an eye on because they have the potential to get upgraded. I would sell on the hype of the upgrade if I'm being completely honest, because that's how these cards get most of their hype anyway. But for the games that we have today, you got to watch Aubameyang. You've got to watch uh, Lamar for Real Madrid and Sevilla. Okay, you do have to watch Sule and, and Foden, but for a lot of these guys that drew last week, you know, for, for Messi and for... Valverde and for Foden, those got them playing today. You know, there's not as much hype there. I guess even Lamar, they drew last week as well. So really today you're watching a bombing. Like that's almost I think a bombing, unless Napoli play today, they don't. A bombing is like the only card today I think that can get upgraded because the, all the other Champions League cards drew last week on this day. So bit of a buzzkill there. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a couple more guys, of course, like Bayern if they win, then an upgrade for Muller for Muller. But these cards will get upgraded by the end of the week. And Thursday is actually a bigger day because there's more Europa League and Conference League cards with upgrades on the line than there are the actual cards in the Champions League. So that's very interesting. But keep an eye on these guys in the market because they are going to be the next things to upgrade. And there's a lot of hype around them as it is right now. We will just have to see where their prices take them later on this week. So that's a road to the knockout discussion. And that's a discussion of how the hero pack made the market boom today in FIFA 23. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.